So tell us a little bit about this gene editing technology and these trials that you're doing. At Editas Medicine, we are working on making unprecedented medicines that, that work at the level of DNA to correct mistakes in DNA to be a durable therapy for patients with really serious diseases. Our first experimental medicine is to treat a disease called labor congenital amaurosis type 10, which is a form of blindness. And we're on the threshold of starting trials in people with this first experimental medicine called Edit 101. And, and so uh, wh where have we come in the last couple of months? There were some uh, articles in the Wall Street Journal uh, late last year that suggested uh, some negative results, particularly in China. Where are we at the moment? So at Editas Medicine, we're working on medicines to treat people with serious diseases. Our first program, we filed with the Food and Drug Administration late last year so they could review that data package, make sure it was acceptable to take forward into tests in humans, and that was accepted and allowed by the FDA. So our next step is to start those clinical trials later this year, which is really an important advance for the field because it's going to be the first treating in the body CRISPR medicine anywhere in the world. So exciting for us at Editas Medicine, but I think also very exciting for the field and most importantly for patients with this serious disease. Katrina, I remember when you know, the stocks went up on this day, but it, there was a lot of public outrage when we learned about the Chinese researcher who genetically edited babies, I think. I mean, do you feel like you're, you're entering a controversial world? First, let's be clear, what, what the researcher did in China is, is essentially the worst example of, of what not to do with this science. And we've said that clearly, and, and the leaders in this field have said that clearly as well. There are very ethical and, and appropriate ways to use this medicine, and we're focused on not only doing, making exciting medicines, but doing it the right way, being rigorous, being transparent, the full oversight of the FDA, talking with patients, engaging with the public. That's part of developing a medicine in this field with a really new cutting edge technology like this. We take that responsibility very seriously. Uh, Katrina, what specifically is proprietary about what Editas does? What I ask is, I mean, the baseline role of certain genes, I'm assuming, is, is sort of known on some level in the public uh, domain, so to speak. So what do you do that isolates particular techniques or, or, uh, or medicines from that? We have a, a unique and proprietary technology platform that is based on a, a technology called CRISPR, CRISPR-Cas9 and CRISPR-CPF1. Uh, these are the scientific names of, of the basis of, of what we work with. And what that allows us to do is to, with the knowledge of the human genome, which as you said is, is what we as a, a society now understand, the sequence of that genome and how mistakes in DNA can lead to serious diseases, what we're working to do is to essentially repair those broken genes. So with these, these molecules we have, these gene editing molecules, to deliver very specific molecules that can fix those broken genes, fix the DNA, to then help patients with those genetic diseases.